Why was it necessary to set up the Lexit left leave campaign? Well, you've heard the arguments tonight and we've all been suffering the appalling deluge of reactionary, irrational nonsense that we've been fed by both of the official campaigns for the last couple of months. Uh, but it seems odd to even have to pose the question uh, when the representatives of Goldman Sachs, Morgan Stanley, Citibank, Barclays, and the rest of the global banks in the City of London, uh, the IMF Director General Christine Lagarde, President Obama, the leaders of all the world's main imperialist powers from Europe and Canada, the General Secretary of NATO, the Governor of the Bank of England, have all united in their demand uh, that we should vote to remain in the European Union, that there's even a question amongst the left about which side you should be on. Um, and I think it's good that we've been here tonight to hear some of the rational arguments based on our history, uh, our history of the labour movement, uh, of the trade union movement and of the left, which we can go out of this room with armed and uh, ready to deploy in the next 10 days. Uh, let's be clear, uh, we're, there are a lot of empty seats in this room, uh, but there's a lot of us here as well. And it's a good thing that we did holding this meeting and coming along tonight. There are meetings taking place in Manchester last Saturday, in Derby last Wednesday. There will be meetings taking place in Liverpool, up and down the country. There are meetings taking place like this, where socialists, trade unionists, people who believe in the values of human community, not in the values of corporate capitalism, are getting together to discuss how to build for a Lexit vote on the 23rd of June. And let's be clear again why Lexit, the Left Leave campaign, is calling for a vote to leave the EU on the 23rd of June. There are two principal reasons. Firstly, a vote to leave the European Union is an act of international solidarity with oppressed peoples all over the world, not only in Europe. The EU is an imperialist entity. It's an essential pillar, as has been said, of the NATO-IMF-EU axis. A blow against the EU weakens imperialism on a world scale. That is why the pro-imperialists in all their forms have united to demand that we vote to remain in the European Union. And the second reason is that a vote for Britain to leave the European Union is the quickest method to bring down the pro-austerity government of David Cameron. Britain's governing Conservative Party is deeply and irrevocably split uh, on a historical scale uh, that's only paralleled perhaps by the Corn Laws. Um, the, the differences between its factions will not be resolved over a port, uh, an after-dinner port or in some West End club uh, following the 23rd of June result. A vote to leave the European Union will certainly lead the Tory party to sack its Prime Minister, their Prime Minister, and will bring forward a general election where voters will have an opportunity to, to elect a majority Labour government committed to opposing austerity led by Jeremy Corbyn. So our campaign sets itself a very particular task in the, in the last few days before the 23rd of June, and that is to explode the myths and lies about a social Europe, about the progressive, uh, the so-called progressive aspects uh, of the EU which are being promoted by EU institutions and people who are influenced by EU institutions and should know better. The Lexit campaign is about calling time on bullshit. To do that, we have to challenge the fear and conformism which exists in large parts of the left. Part of that is doing small things like publishing letters in local newspapers. There's an open letter in the Camden New Journal this week, which is signed by a number of people on the platform and in the audience here tonight. To do things like that explains and show, demonstrates to people who believe the same things as us, who come from the same background as us politically and socially, why what we're doing is right. But we've got to get out there and shatter that fear, shatter that conformism. That's why you need to pick up those leaflets at the back of the room. That's why those stickers need to be taken out of here. We don't want to take any with us. We are organising on the Wednesday the 15th of June a coordinated Lexit leafleting in six locations around Greater London. One of them will be King's Cross, but there are five others, South, East and, and in North uh, London as well. And if you've left your contact number and name, on the contact sheet that was circulated during the meeting, then we will contact you and tell you where your local 
uh, where your local leafleting activity will be taking place on Wednesday the 15th of June. Of course, you can leaflet any time. This is just an attempt to do some coordination uh, and to get some practical activity doing. Uh, the RMT union itself uh, is organising leafleting outside mainline railway stations in the morning and at the rush hour in the evening on Wednesday the 15th of June. So if you have an opportunity to join RMT activists, please go along and do that as well. The most important thing is we've started something here. We're having this debate. We know that our arguments are better than their arguments. And anyone who's been to any debates between proponents of the Remain argument and proponents of the Leave argument on the left will know what I'm talking about. Their arguments are threadbare, absolutely threadbare. So let's get out there, and on the 24th of June, let's talk about how we're going to rebuild a real left that opposes corporate capitalism and doesn't act as a cat's ball for it. Thank you very much for coming tonight. We've got a lot of work to do. Let's get out there and do it.